Today we celebrate the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Early in the 4th century, St. Helena, mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine, went to Jerusalem in search of the holy places of Christ's life. She raised the 2nd century temple of Aphrodite, which tradition held was built over the Savior's tomb, and her son built the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre on that spot. During the excavation, workers found three crosses. Legend has it that the one on which Jesus died was identified when its touch healed a dying woman. The cross immediately became an object of veneration. At a Good Friday celebration in Jerusalem toward the end of the 4th century, according to an eyewitness, the wood was taken out of its silver container and placed on a table together with the inscription Pilate ordered placed above Jesus' head. Then all the people passed through one by one. All of them bowed down, touching the cross and the inscription, first with their foreheads, then with their eyes, and after kissing the cross, they move on. To this day, the Eastern churches, Catholic and Orthodox alike, celebrate the exaltation of the Holy Cross on the September anniversary of the Basilica's dedication. The feast entered the Western calendar in the 7th century after Emperor Heraclius recovered the cross from the Persians who had carried it off in 614, 15 years earlier. According to the story, the emperor intended to carry the cross back into Jerusalem himself, but was unable to move forward until he took off his imperial garb and became a barefoot pilgrim.